The mass eviction began 4 a.m. Sunday morning. In a matter of hours, Tijuana police officers and soldiers from Mexico's National Guard cleared the migrant camp that sits just across the border from the San Ysidro port of entry. By the end of the day, a tense city that had been home to thousands of asylum seekers was back to being an empty pedestrian plaza. The only hints of the people who occupied this space was a single basketball and a heart someone had painted on a nearby tree. The city gave no notice of its planned operation. Migrants simply woke up to soldiers and officers telling them they had 30 minutes to pack up and leave. They kicked us out by force, one migrant says, like we're trash. They treat us worse than animals. Another migrant says the city treated them like they're criminals. He says you'd think they were arresting El Chapo with how many cops they brought in. All this despite prior assurances by Tijuana's mayor that her administration would never remove migrants by force. KPBS asked Mayor Monserrat Caballero Ramirez about the camp last November. At the time, she said she had no plans to shut it down and refused to say when it might close. However, she did acknowledge feeling pressure from the United States to clear the camp because it blocked a pedestrian crossing. No puedo poner Giving us a fixed date, she said, would eliminate the voluntary nature of the process. City officials say the camp had become a public health hazard and that migrants were offered space in nearby shelters. The migrants and their advocates condemned the government for using so much force to evict vulnerable women and children. Gina Garibo is with American Friends Service Committee. She says using the military for this eviction fuels anti-immigrant xenophobia in Tijuana and perpetuates the idea that people in the camp are criminals. Esto generó, sin duda. Garibo says evicting the migrants only pushes them out of the public view. It won't do anything to actually improve their condition. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.